tons of requests asking for prediction videos and you know they're not my favorite thing, but personally, I'm gonna tell you the sort of topics I've been focusing on with my own tutees. Now I've noticed recently that human impact on the environment hasn't been dealt with quite as often as historically it was. So I've been helping my students a lot with looking at the carbon cycle, the effects of global warming, so polar ice caps melting, rise in sea level, loss of biodiversity, extreme weather, change in bird migration patterns. We've been talking about that an awful lot. Genetic modification is becoming more and more popular, particularly the level of detail you'll need with the use of restriction enzymes, sealing sticky ends on the plasmid and the gene being inserted. Another big topic. And then on top of that, food tests. Food test comes up so often in the form of how do you safely test a leaf for starch? Remember to use ethanol, boiling water, deal with that ethanol safely by avoiding a direct flame, use a water bath. Obviously iodine needs to be involved, which turns blue black in the presence of starch. Then don't forget Benedict's, Bioray, ethanol and water. Remember these are all in my all-in-one videos. They're in my revision guide which is available as a PDF on the website. So yeah, never ever ignore um, food tests. And then the last topic, variety of living organisms. People seem to think it's just plants and animal cells. Have you looked at the questions? You'll know it's so much more than that. They'll be expecting you to know things like which protoctis causes malaria. It's plasmodium, by the way. How do fungi feed through saprotrophic nutrition? Do you know a three marker on describing saprotrophic nutrition? If you don't, make sure you look it up. Now, anyway, I'm about to start my seven hours of tutoring today, um, but best of luck in your exam, guys, and let me know how it goes. Last thing I wanted to mention is I've got a YouTube video uploading later today on something which is guaranteed a 10% in your exam, so make sure you watch that video.